have uh, uh, chips coming out of uh, operation, uh, what I'm doing is I'm drilling a bullet tipped hole into very light, those are very light chips. I'm drilling a bullet tipped hole into a 7 8 14 bolt that is um, called Baumaloy. And it's very, uh, you can see the number of slots on there. Generally, you count the slots and add two, and that's the grade. This has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six slots. So this would be a equivalent to a grade 14 bolt. And it is hard. This is a very hard bolt. I did no annealing or anything on here. I wonder why I'm getting that. yellowish tinge. Anyway, I wanted to show this bullet tip how well this bullet tip uh, drill bit goes into this real hard steel. Notice I'm taking real slow, spinning it real slow, probably 40 RPMs, something like that, 50, maybe 60. Now I'll show you the tip here, you can see that, I'll twist it a little bit, if I can, <laughs> see that's making a bullet point tip, and I'll show you the uh, object that I'm trying to get to, I'm making a, a uh, swaging die for this guy here, Whoops. I'm going to be, uh, that's going to be the, the, the uh, nose die. And it's going to, this is going to be in a press with a ram that pushes on the bottom. That's going to squeeze that up in there. To make it a more perfect bullet, it's going to get rid of those grooves and make it a perfect diameter for. Uh, making a very, very good quality 9mm bullets. Now you may be able to tell that, I'm, that I have gone in far deeper than the length of that bullet. That's because I'm going to be making a, uh, a ram that goes right inside the hole, follows it right inside, pushes it right inside that hole. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to take a two millimeter bit, drill bit, and drill a through hole through that bolt, two millimeters, and that will be for an, an extraction pin. You can see these chips, how they're coming off of there. They're just, they're, they're almost like foil, they're so thin. This, this drill bit more like shaves. And this is the same, the same kind of grind you hear that squealing? It hit a hard spot in that steel. This, this steel is not consistent through. You hit hard and soft spots. Put some, put some uh, lube in there to help that in that hard spot. Other than that, you don't even need lube. See how nice that's peeling them out? Now it's not perfect. Um, one side is cutting a little more than the other, but it's. I, I twist it. I every once in a while I turn it like this, and that keeps the uh, hole nice and symmetrical. Although it may be cutting a bit bigger hole than I want. This is a size T drill bit which is 0.358 inch and I want the hole to be 
0.358 inches, which leaves me exactly no room at all for uh, the potential of this whole beat becoming oblong, I mean not oblong, but uh, larger due to run out and uh, not having that uh, blade consistent. You can see it wobble just a little bit. I believe that is because one side of the uh, little bit is cutting a little bit of harder, more than the other side. And that's going to make that hole bigger than 3.358. I'll have to measure it when I'm done. But I do have another, another bullet that I need to switch to 2.263. So I have, it's not, it won't be a total loss if this makes too big of a hole. I can use it for that other drill bit and then re-grind or, or re-sharpen this tip so it cuts better and then make a uh, another one of these to the proper size. And I'm in about three quarters of an inch right now, which would gives me, gives me a quarter of an inch because the bullets are uh, just over a half an inch long. That gives me a quarter of an inch room to drive that thing. So I'm going to call it quits on that right now. Thanks for watching.